Hi everybody, this is Fallon Dominguez reporting from her bedroom in Jacksonville, Florida. And I was going to respond to question six for the FDDS Knows Better blog. Um, high performing organizations will require new employees to have social emotional intelligence, superior written and oral communication skills, and integrity. Currently, employers are not satisfied with undergraduate success in these areas due to gaps in educational models at colleges and universities. If you were responsible for undergraduate studies at American University, how would you ensure that students are best prepared for the workplace, particularly those well-paying jobs that also contribute to environmental and social sustainability? Okay, so I wanted to start with talking about the written and oral skills because I think that these are probably the most important not only after you have a job, but while you're applying for a job. Because the first thing that you're going to hand your employer is your resume and your cover letter. And then if you're lucky, you're also going to have an interview. So you want to make sure that both in your writing and in your speaking, you're able to represent yourself well and get across your ideas and you know why you think that you're the best person for this position. I also think that these are probably the easiest skills that you can still teach in classrooms at American University. So, for example, freshmen this year are finally going to be required, no matter what, even if you pass the AP or IB exam, to take a writing class, which I think is a very good idea because it'll get kids used to not just writing for high school, but now you're writing for college and then later on for work. Um, the other kind of class I think students should be taking is some type of business writing class or workplace writing class so that you don't just know how to write research papers, but also how to write things that you're probably going to be doing more of at work. Um, the other class that I definitely think students should be required to take is some type of speech class because it's going to help kids be able to um, speak better, be more used to presenting in front of people, you know, communicating with other people. It might help some people get over their stage fright that they have still. Um, and then, of course, students could always go to resources like the Career Center or the Writing Center for help, more help in these issues. Um, so those are ones that are easy to cover in the classroom. But the social and emotional intelligence, I feel like, are skills that kids are going to have to get through experience. You can't really teach those to somebody. They need to go out and actually communicate with people. And so one way that kids can do this in Washington is through having internships, um, which you, there are a lot of in Washington, but you, have, you would have to get one. Um, my idea for this would be something more like the first FDDS class had to do last year in sociology. So for our sociology class, we had to complete a certain number of community service hours. We could pick any organization we wanted as long as we had, I think it was 20 hours. Um, this, I think, would be a good idea to start incorporating in students' classes because it would force kids to get out the door and into D.C. and start working with other people. It's not as formal as an internship, and so it might be a little less scary than an internship if people are nervous, um, but they're still getting that interaction. And then the other good thing about volunteering is that it'll start to get kids interested in those jobs that are probably about the environment or working on social issues in D.C. And so then later on they could take their, um, you know, experiences from their volunteering and maybe they want to pursue that in their careers later on. Um, so those are my ideas for helping AU students get ready for the workplace. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you guys next week. Bye.